the big news today. The SEBI panel has indeed recommended sweeping uh, changes in the takeover code. The panel has suggested hiking open offer trigger to 25% from the current 15%. Ashwin Punin joins us now on the various other recommendations by the panel. Ashwin, do you think the proposed open offer norms will be a game changer for M&A activities? Of course, it's going to be a game changer as far as the MND activity is concerned. The biggest change, of course, is, uh, as you mentioned, is the hike in threshold limit from 15% to 25%, and also the increase in the open offer limit from 20% uh, to 100%. This will completely change the way MND activity takes place in the country. Uh, it gives more uh, headroom for large investors to uh, come into the company without uh, having to make an open offer. And uh, from an acquirer's point of view, hiking uh, this uh, open offer limit is going to increase their cost of acquisition. These are uh, major changes, but apart from that, uh, the committee has also recommended that the creeping acquisition limit will be increased. Right now, the cre creeping acquisition is limited at 55% uh, uh, with an annual uh, limit of 5% that every five years you can increase your stake by 5% and at 55 it is capped. But uh, the committee has said that it will be raised to 75. Up to 75 you can creep uh, by 5% every year. These are the major changes uh, and uh, now new parameters will be there for calculating the price. Uh, they are talking about four parameters. First of all, uh, the negotiated price will be used. Uh, 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 along with negotiated price, uh, there will be 52-week uh, average price and 26 weeks. And a 60-day average price will also be taken into consideration. Uh, these are some of the major changes. And we got some uh, uh, comments from uh, the committee members. Uh, listen to that. Well, it's a progressive step, definitely, in, in, uh, in terms of development of capital markets. Uh, also for uh, uh, facilitating serious uh, M&A activity in the country, uh, it's, it's a good step. We have looked at uh, on balance everybody's interest. It has to be fair and equitable for all. We are not looked at from uh, a particular angle. We are not looked at from one community. It's, a, it's on balance. We have looked at all aspects, um, small shareholder interest. Also, major shareholder interest, everybody's interests have to be taken care of, and that's what we are attempted to do. I think what we are saying is, whether he has 14%, 20%, or 24%, mm -hmm. any shareholding, if he has ability to control, okay. then in that case, he has to make an open up. I think it is in line with a uh, with a right to control. Uh, it's more positive uh, right to control. Uh, it is also in sync with the regulatory framework on Companies Act. And if you look at international best practices, it's, it's around that level. So I think uh, from a special resolution point of view, 25% uh, is, uh, is, is the right level in which you can positively control the company. Yeah, I think it is a very progressive regulation. It's, a, it's a significant changes from the current regulation. And I think um, you know, I'm part of the committee and I fully endorse what, what we have recommended.